What is the difference between a houseboat and a house yacht? Today we'll be touring our very first house yacht. We are on board of Reina Liv 44. Alrighty, welcome aboard. Come join me. I like this little, this little uh, setup, stairs. Yeah, because yeah, right? it's, it's really comfortable to get Very up. nice. All right, we are, well, technically in a cockpit. <laughs> yes, we are. This tour is gonna be very unusual because we're gonna start with an engine room, which we never do on our channel. Well, engine room, what do you mean engine room? I mean... Actually, we have two outboard engines. Yes. Yes. Um, with a center platform, which is a fixed platform, there's an option for a hydraulic platform. A this, larger one. A larger one, okay. And um, this one also has an anchor set up, a stern anchor. Pretty cool, actually. Because this house yacht is actually set up to travel. You can take this to a sand bank, you can go for a nice day cruise. So they are set up to actually go and anchor out in some nice spot. We're gonna talk about it in a little bit. Let's go all the way forward Four, first. Okay, forward. Okay, we're gonna go on our starboard side. Our shore power inlet. Check out these massive windows. Wow. A whole wall of windows. It's so beautiful. Cannot wait to show it to you on the interior. Very comfortable. We have a nice railing here. Welcome to our bow. Wow, this is amazing. I mean, it's structural, but then it's open, which is really cool. Of course, you can also do like a little um, awning shade there if you wanted to, or put an umbrella here if you like. This is a really sort of a blank canvas. You can design it any way you want. You can put some lounges here. They have a nice little breakfast table here that, or could be a dinner table. Just nice to hang out here. It's just a cute little spot, depending on where you are. You can lay this out any way you would like, but your main entertaining area is going to be up on a flybridge. And that's what we're gonna check out now? Let's go check it out. Up to the flybridge? Let's do it. Wow, this is insane! Massive! This is huge. I mean, you gotta step up to like a 80 foot yacht in order to have this size of a flybridge. I, I, I agree with you, At yeah. Least. It's, and it's a square shape, so it gives you a lot of space. Could use residential furniture if you want to. Oh yeah, if you wanted to. It's But on this yacht, because it is a yacht, they are using actually marine grade. Everything is teak and outdoor furniture you know properly set up but yeah you can do whatever you want here again blank canvas anything you like so let's talk about what makes this one a yacht first of all most important is capabilities this boat can actually cruise it's not made to be tied up to a dock you can actually move it around you can take it out you can actually use it as a boat it's like a pontoon boat is, yes. is the best way to describe it it even has a C certification, so you can technically go on open waters, which is pretty amazing. So the difference between a conventional houseboat and a house yacht, or in this case, this yacht here, uh, this house yacht, um, we have built-in tankage. So it's not just a empty pontoon where we're sitting on, floating on, no, it's actually a real catamaran hull, a multi-hull. Gray water tank is inside, fresh water tank is inside, black water tank is inside. We have a generator, we have a marine grade air conditioning system, which is using the water we're floating in to actually cool down and um, have air condition for the interior. A Little bit different than a just pontoon boat where the pontoons are empty and you're just building the platform up. Here we're actually using also the space in the sponsons. Thank you for that, uh, Professor Rico Rocks. As this is a boat or shall we say a yacht, we actually have dual dual helms. So what do we have here? We have a Garmin chart plotter, the yacht management screen right here, which has all the house yacht system at your fingertips. We have a fusion stereo here, some analog gauges for the engines, which are the outboards we have seen earlier, navigation lights, horn switch, and shift and throttle controls, plus the helm station, of course. 
since this is open, I can actually look down here, see actually the forward corners of the vessel, which is pretty amazing, especially for docking purposes. That's pretty cool. Quick look over the side. I can see the aft corner very, very easily. And of course, the entire sidewalk as well. On this particular hall, they've chosen to lay out this massive flybridge this way. They have an outdoor alfresco dining for eight. They have a big layout area right there with sun loungers, massive sitting area here. But again, on yours, you can do whatever you like. There is so much that you can fit in this space. And I would love to know in the comments, what would you do on yours? What is a must have for you up on the flybridge? And how would you lay this up? Seating area, eight. Yeah, easy. Easy. easy then yeah. all of this is storage. Oh, got it, okay. I know a lot of you are thinking, what about shade? We're in Florida and it does get really sunny and I need some shade. Well, they thought about it as well. They have a built-in awning right here that comes out. You can have three options. One, fully open like this, which would be fantastic for, let's say, California, right? It's beautiful and sunny, but it's not too hot. Here in Florida, you can have an option that is hard top. You can put solar panels on top. It's like a half hard top, right? It comes out to about here. And of course you can put some uh, soft enclosure in there if you want to, like any other boat. Or a third option, and you can fully enclose this whole area with a proper hard top going all the way in and having a glass. So, so you're getting a second level pretty A second much. level, yeah, yeah, exactly. So for colder climates, or even in this climate, if you prefer using air conditioning, you can do that as well. And then, let's talk about this. We have an entertainment area here. We have our grill, sink, little counter space, drink fridge, mm -hmm. and some storage. Everything you need. You can also kind of U-shape this and make it into a bigger bar. I mean, endless possibilities on this house yacht. I like awesome. saying that. So, are we gonna check out the interior? Let's go check out the interior. What do you mean? Of course we're gonna check out the interior. Let's do it. This is a nice rail here. Yeah, it's very nice actually. Real quick, just want to take a second and ask you guys to please hit that like button and write us a couple of comments. You know that we don't charge anything for our yacht tours. We fully keep our independence and actually liking, subscribing, following is the best way you can keep us afloat and keep this channel going, pun intended. Also, we're getting lots of comments and messages asking us if we can help you find your next boat. I know we don't say this often at all. We just talk about it on the Patreon. So maybe it's the right moment. Well, Rico, this is your department. Absolutely. Actually, we've gotten lots of inquiries in the past years uh, where people ask for help to find the next perfect boat for themselves. We started building a group of honest brokers, which we're working closely together with. So if you are looking for a next boat and you need help, we're definitely here to help you and you can just go to the website, fill out the contact form and be directly in contact with us. All right, let's check out the interior. Come on in. On this side, we have our electrical slash uh, washer and dryer closet. There's some work going on in here. Batteries. Inverter. Yeah, everything, everything here. In there. And the washer and dryer unit is gonna go in here. They're about to install it. Got it. This model is basically like their prototype show model so they're learning and picking up anything that they want to change anything that they want to do different all the feedback is what this model is all about so in the next one that's coming out in the next haul there's already been quite a few changes that they're just you know as any proper brand learn from their mistakes or things that they also been using the boat trying to see what works what doesn't which is the best way to learn that's some of the things that's going on here let's go in this door here these are fun i've never seen these uh -huh. before different different mechanisms yeah, different mechanisms so come on in again very unusual to our tours you get to see the owner's cabin first wow so we have a bed here for two then we have a desk is build and make a period you could tell that they're coming from the yachting market so they know that uh, that's one of the things you got to have on the yacht so all of this is closet hanging locker here three actually hanging lockers very cute yeah nice 
reading lights, everything. Super cute and cozy. And then behind this door right Hang here, it's like a dance while we film this. We have our head. So it's a separate head and behind it is a separate shower. I have a sink here, a mirror, very cute. A bit of storage. Little window right here mm -hmm. with natural light. Yeah. Okay. With a privacy blind. Correct. Then we're going to go and show you the shower. Dance again. <laughs> it's one of the things that the founders mentioned to us is in the next model they're going to implement some pocket doors which i think are going to actually be a really really cool upgrade to uh to a situation with not dealing with any doors i agree and this type of setup would be great so here we have our walk-in shower got a rain shower head yeah it's a comfortable one person shower oh yeah yeah very nice and there's a really cute storage on this side Oh, got it. You got your open storage for towels and so on, and then still some closed storage there. Again, we have two windows here, which are closed right now with, for privacy, but you can open it up and actually gets a lot more light in here, natural light in here. Do you see this head? <laughs> this rain shower? It's massive. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So the focus on the interiors, of course, is on the luxury elements that it feels like you're in a nice... And if I'm not mistaken, this model comes as a one or two bedroom layout, right? Correct. So this is a two bedroom. Okay. And this is our second room, kids room or, or guest room. We actually could easily sleep two people here and we still have a bunk right here. Very cool. Yeah, very cute. You've got storage here. This looks large. Yeah. Oh, it is. A large closet here. And there's a window right there. Actually, right. two windows. Yeah. Oh, these are windows too? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, this is beautiful. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know this is kind of weird. We never do it this way. We're going to our salon next. Welcome to our salon. Well, first of all, we do have a little breakfast area here. Very, very cute. All of these is windows, as you guys remember. So I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to operate it. Ready? Yep. Yeah, that feels right away very different. Wow, the whole other side opened as well. Very different. So Look cool. how nice and airy and bright it feels in here. Okay. I would totally have breakfast here. How cute. I think these are real because I would eat one after we're done with the tour. So we have a microwave, fridge, loaded. We have a sink right here, two burner cooktop, a dishwasher. Yes. Storage, drawers, nice countertop, all this upper storage here. It's very, very cute. I mean, you would never know you own a boat right now. No. No, you could just be in the cute little apartment and you will never know. But you do know because you do have a helm right in your living room. How many people can say, here's my living room and here's my helm? <laughs> this is pretty cool because even when you're cruising, you know, and it's not like the, the best weather, you have, a, you have a bit of a squall, you don't want to sit up on the fly. You can totally be in here. Everybody can hang out. You have your air condition running. You have a generator on board. Look at this. It's an amazing view all around. Yeah. I mean, if you think about places like the Bahamas, right? Once you're on the inside, like you never have these huge waves. You'll have some wind chop and stuff. But if you can get over there on a very, very, very calm day and technically spend, spend some time there just tucking away from totally. serious weather, you could totally do it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Important for everyone in their living room. Well, you get the idea. All of that is storage. Then on this side, we have a really nice size sofa, which can be converted into a two people bed. Oh, really? Mm-hmm, really nice, very comfy. And then of course we have sliding doors going forward. You can open it up and it's so nice. This is just an extension of your living room. How cool is that space? It is really nice, even right now, we just have the doors open, the air condition is not even on, yeah. and it's nice and breezy and fresh in here. You don't need the AC right, right? now at all. 
So but what, what, how would you use this space for, for you and I? Like, if we did it, right? Because you have this. You, I feel like you have a lot of tables. You have a table there, a table there. Like, what else can we do there? Well, I would have a table there, like, like that. It's like a smoking lounge or what? Like a cigar lounge? Oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe have a, a little bean bag there or two bean bags so you can actually also hang out comfortably, not just sitting on the chair. Because you're right next to your kitchen, right next to the galley. So yeah. you don't need to, if you're upstairs, you obviously have to come down and get stuff. But here, like you, you can actually breakfast wise, you can have a super cool little oh, yeah. spot here. Super easy. Love it. Okay, the helm. The I helm. feel like the helm is... Well, Similar like we already saw up on the flybridge. It's the same thing except we have two ignition switches here. So again, we have a Garmin chart plotter. We have the yacht management system right here. Shift and throttle controls. We have our analog gauges for the engines, light switches, trim tabs. On top of all that, we have our horn switch, navigation lights, and a work light here, plus the helm wheel. It's all open. I can see everything. Probably best visibility ever because it's I think it's better than most of the yachts we have been on. So they do have a dedicated management system here, which what I like about it is very, very simple and straightforward. Nice way, I would say, domified because it's just so simple. Okay. Like anything, lighting, you know, you can do the whole, you can do inside, outside. It's just so easy, curtains, appliances, everything. You can turn the whole boat off, you know, just like, I mean, of course we used to it on the yachts. Yeah. Again, it's not something we see on houseboats. And this is an attribute of a yacht, a house yacht. Found a drawer. I find this very interesting for somebody who is maybe not super adventurous and doesn't want to go cruising and see the world on the boat or anything, but still would like to enjoy waterfront living with the capability to actually move and go somewhere. And I think it's so interesting for having an extra space. You know, you have a dock at your house and you want to put a guest bedroom there. You know, you're thinking, okay, should we do an addition above the garage or should we just buy one of these and have like a really nice, luxurious apartment that you can take somewhere else if you move. How about all these, the, the huge lake systems the US and Canada has, for example, or even the, the uh, Great Loop, the can Intercoastal Waterway. Can you do the great, great Loop in this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because you can, if you have a, an arch which can lower down, for example, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do the Great and Loop. And the beam, yeah, I think you should be able to, you're right. So the only thing I would probably add would be a little um, bow thruster motor. This would be so fun to do a Great Loop on. Be perfect for it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Oh, wait, hang on. We haven't seen the engine room yet. What do you mean the engine room? Well, We've seen the engine generator room. generator space. Generator. Kind of important. Okay. Okay, so the generator is actually right below the staircase. So we have a little access here. And that's where our generator sits behind. So of course you can take this whole panel out for, for maintenance and service, but this is where our gen generator sits in. The cool thing is it's actually a diesel generator. So it's not a gas generator. So we have a diesel tank and we have a gas tank. Gas tank for the outboards, diesel tank for the generator. So we get the swim ladder here and our anchor, which is in this case a stern anchor because on the bow we don't have an anchor. So this is the anchor. This is the anchor, exactly. So anchoring at the sandbar and so on, you would actually um, be downwind. Huh. Bow would yeah, yeah, face yeah. downwind. Kind of unusual. From, yeah, kind of unusual, exactly. True. Um, but also cool because then you don't have anything. You don't even have your anchor chain, no, no anchor setup, no equipment. It's all super clean on the bow. That's very interesting. Yeah. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Put down in the comments what you thought of it. Do some likes, shares and all that. And if you were looking for some more outtakes, join us on the Patreon. What else do we have here? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, um, cut that out. On this particular, not model, not on this particular... Vessel? Vessel. Yeah. Like this one. How do we say that? House yacht. Uh, on this particular... On this particular house yacht. Hall. Hall. Or you can choose to have a fully enclosed flybridge for those colder areas. No, not we fully enclosed. Actually, it will be half hardtop. No, fully enclosed. No, I asked, you said half hardtop, not, the, not oh. the whole length. What's a half hardtop? Going to here, roughly. I 
like when you argue with me and I win. Told you so, told you so. You didn't even let me celebrate properly. No. Can you say you were right? No. Oh. <laughs> pains you. Okay, it pains you.